In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to make the Conquistador paracord bracelet. It is called such because it is made using the Conquistador braid, which was used by the Conquistadors on their belts. As such, it has quite a long history of use, and it originates from leather braiding. I have two examples here. One is made in a loose braid and one in a tighter braid. The looser braid is a bit more comfortable, in my opinion, but it doesn't look as nice as the tighter version. So you can try both and see which you prefer. This is the pattern up close. So, let's start making one. First thing we're going to do is take a buckle and we're going to attach one end of paracord onto it. We do this by simply wrapping the end around the buckle. I'm going to do it three times here. So the third time, and now we're going to take the end and slide it under all of these loops that we made when wrapping. This can be easier if you use a lacing needle, but I'm just doing it freehand here. Okay, so with that we've attached the cord to the buckle and we're going to start braiding the Conquistador braid. I'm going to attach a lacing needle onto the end, as I've done here, to make it a bit easier to work with. You don't need it, but it's handy. So we're going to loosen up our first loop, insert the cord through it, and then pass it behind the working cord. And then simply pull it through. Then take the lacing needle again and do the same thing, loosen up the loop, pull the lacing needle through and then pull the working cord behind. Again loosen it up, insert the lacing needle and pull it behind the working cord. So we've done three and we're always going to do three on this bracelet. And now we're going to go down. Since we went up, we went behind the cord. When we're going down, back, we're going to go in front of the cord. So we insert the lacing needle and we go through the front of our working cord. And again, we're going to do it three times just to fill out all, all the loops and this is again one row complete. Since we're now going up we're again going to insert the lacing needle then pass our cord behind the working cord. It's quite important that you keep your sequences correct because you don't want to make a mistake on this braid especially at the, in somewhere in the middle because it does take a bit of time to make a bracelet like this
So we've done a few passes and you can see the pattern forming and I'm just going to continue a little bit so you can get a feel for it. So again I'm going down so I'm passing in front of the working cord. And when I'm going up, I'm going to again go behind. And I think you got the sequence. It's not that hard to do. It's just a bit time consuming at start. But it gets easier once you use up a bit of cord. Now just continue this braid until you reach a length of the bracelet that you want. I'm going to show you a tightened version. This is a bit tighter braid and I'm going to use this on my bracelet. I've completed the length that I want and now it's time to finish up the bracelet by attaching another part of the buckle onto it. We're basically going to do the same thing we did at the start, but we're going to insert the end through the loop each time in order to strengthen the, the loops. Once you fill out the last loop, so we had three here. We're going to insert the cord under all the loops again. This completes the bracelet and now you can simply retighten this a bit so it looks nice and it's more secure and then cut the end and melt it and you're basically done. You can use this braid on belts as well. It works nicely but it does take some time to make. This is the bracelet.